So today we're going to show you how to connect a Squarespace landing page to a ConvertKit form. And um, that is not very difficult to do. It takes some tweaking. It involves Zapier, which I'll be showing you in a second. So first of all, if you're using Squarespace, you know that um, there's no seamless connection to uh, ConvertKit. Instead, the current, the current as of November 2017, the easy connection from Squarespace to a email service will be MailChimp. So if you're using ConvertKit, uh, this is the tutorial for you. So inside uh, Squarespace, first of all, find your landing page. And here I created a test landing page not to mess around with the things I already set up. And as you can see, um, all the settings on the left and the landing page on the right, um, I use a big image and pretty straightforward. And this one I called how to make a living as a podcaster without counting the downloads. And we have a download button here. Currently, if I click on that for default, you get you know an email address, submit button. So let's dive right in. The things that you need to change really is the download form or the custom form here. So once you click on that, it takes you to the left hand side, but you have to click again, edit form to get to the action. So you have a title and here you have managed fields because ConvertKit uses um, both first name and email here. I want to add another text field. So click on text field and here call it first name and I want this to be also a required field click away you can see the stars next to both of them and you can drag them around to rearrange them as they appear on the form and now you can click over to storage as you can see right now it sends an email to my email but for ConvertKit sends MailChimp uh, has its own service, but ConvertKit doesn't, you do have to get around by using Google Drive. So click on Google Drive and connect your account. Click on Allow. The spreadsheet name could be anything. Here I'm going to say Test um, eBook Spreadsheet. This can be anything, again, use something you can recognize immediately. Also under the advanced uh, section here, this is totally optional. The post submit message is something that people are going to see immediately after they enter their first name, email and hit submit. So here, sometimes I would like to enter a message um, such as, you know, thank you for your interest. Um, know that it may take up, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. This is only a test, so feel free to cure your message um, because this is something that people are going to see right away. Uh, here, this is a placeholder. So after all this work, you can finally click on submit. Sorry, click on save button. Give it a second. Now, all the magic will happen via Zapier. So. I'm going to raise my window just a little bit here and the Zapier website is zapier.com. So this is a free account and it's something you could probably use for a long time. I'll click on the drop down. So right now, as you can see, I have the free plan. I can upgrade and I don't believe it's very expensive. And with a free account, you're able to create uh, five zaps, uh, I believe a week, right? Reset in one week. So you have to do is click on the huge, uh, orange button says, make a zap. And what Zapier is doing is to help you, um, help two applications communicate if they are not doing so already. But obviously, I mean, there are a ton of apps where you can use Zapier for, but not every app is available. Um, for each connection, the setup may be slightly different. But as we're looking at this, uh, name your Zap. I'm going to say um, test ebook. Again, use a name that you're familiar with. And the trigger application is going to be Google Sheets. 
So you click on Google Sheets. And here I select new or updated spreadsheet row. And uh, let's see if we remember what we did. Oh, actually, you don't need to type in anything. It's just the first radio button here. Click save and continue. And then you're going to, it's taking you to Google Sheets and to recognize your Google account. You want to play it safe, click on test so it knows who you are, where you're at. Save and continue. In the spreadsheet setup, it's going to pull up always the newest spreadsheet that you created. So here, click on test ebook spreadsheet. The second column, it's saying, hey, you must identify a column header. Very simple, just click on sheet one and trigger columns, any column. Click on continue. Things to double check. It says, please make sure you have at least one recent record. So we know we don't. So let's see what happens when you click on fetch and continue. So now it's complaining that um, the sheet that you just created is actually empty. So what we need to do is go back to our test form, test landing page, click on the button download. And then here I'm going to enter my email. And that simple action, as you can see, there's a confirmation message we entered as well, um, will trigger an initial entry uh, onto the spreadsheet you just created. So let's see what happens. Now I come back to Zapier and I say, try again, fetch and continue, test successful. So it recognized there was a new row added to that. You're done with the trigger section. Now is the action section. So the action for the app is ConvertKit that we're trying to connect to. So you have three options, subscriber to a form, subscriber to a tag, or to a sequence. As I mentioned in video number one, uh, we highly recommend that for ebook delivery that you select form. And form also has other features that are really useful, such as a double opt-in. Um, so let's go with form, save and continue, test again, successful. Now, because you asked the subscriber to add to a ConvertKit form, the first question is, which form? So we have a test form, you can select that. And then it says, okay, the email, which of the new Google spreadsheet uh, for contains the email? The good news is it actually has a, a preview of what's actually in the spreadsheet. You can easily identify the header email address as well as the email that you actually enter. Same thing for first name, but this part is optional. Um, because I entered a first name here, I'm going to select that and opt in to course. If this form has a course attached to it, would you like the subscriber to opt in? You can leave it as is because I don't have a course identified for that. So just click on continue and you have a final confirmation to what you just did, create and continue. Test is successful and you're basically finished. But before you leave the page, make sure that your tab is actually turned on by clicking on this gray button. Now it is on. You can actually see yours new zap on your dashboard where you can make another one immediately. So let's go back to the dashboard. One thing to note, uh, you have just made the connection. However, Zapier may take up to 15 minutes to transfer the newly um, captured email from um, here from your zap to your ConvertKit email list. I know that sounds really inconvenient. The good news is sometimes I've seen this transfer happen a lot sooner, under three to five minutes. So that's why it um, goes back to the landing page message uh, via Squarespace that I do recommend that you leave a message and tell your subscribers that it may take up to 15 minutes before they receive your ebook. So that's it. I hope it wasn't too painful. Uh, if you have any feedback or questions, please let me know. Thank you.